I'm Natasha Lara Lewis from Esther's Place and today we're going to be creating a needle felted acorn. Save those acorn caps because we're going to be transforming them into something beautiful and special. It's really easy. All you need is a acorn cap collection, felting foam and a few needles, and a little bit of fiber. We're using Cheviot wool. This is actually the wool from our own sheep that we dye. And we're going to start out by tearing a small section of wool off. We'll need about two to three inches of wool for our acorn ball. And the trick to using roving, which is the carded wool, is to hold your hands about three or four inches apart where you want to pull that roving apart. If you hold your hands too close, you're going to be fighting the natural length of the fiber. You want to hold your hands about three or four inches apart and it's going to pull a lot easier. So we'll end up with a section about two or three inches long. Now the size of your wool will also be determined by the size of your acorn cap. So choose accordingly. We're going to start out by rolling a small ball out of our fiber. And remember, the tighter that you roll this, the less felting you'll need to do later. So start at the beginning and we're going to fold that in very tight and tuck in the edges. Roll and tuck in the edges. Roll, tuck in the edges, and keep repeating that rolling and tucking until your whole ball is nice and tiny and nice and tight. It's great to create balls just like this for jewelry or other craft projects. Okay, so it's about the size of a dime and we're going to take and place that onto our foam. We'll then take a needle and put it through the middle. That needle goes all the way through to the foam and that's our helper needle. That's gonna hold that in place so we don't have to hold it with our fingers and we'll save your fingers from getting poked. Take your other needle, we're using a 36 gauge felting needle. If you take a close look at these needles along the bottom edge, there's actually tiny notches that tangle the fibers together. As we poke, it's going to catch the fibers on one another and create a dense felt. So we don't have to poke very deep. As we start to poke our ball, we're going to take and poke a little here and a little there rotating it as we go. We're poking into about the center of the ball and just doing short fast pokes to create a structure that's going to hold together. So keep on continuing around until you have a small ball. It should be holding its shape and slightly ball-like. Don't worry though it's very forgiving so just keep poking at it. If you see a fuzzy spot you'll keep poking in that area till it's nice and round and nicely shaped. After about a minute or two of poking, you have a ball that has a nice round shape. You're going to take this off of the foam and like a skewer, we're going to place it onto the foam to begin some more felting. So as you're felting, you wanna take and turn this like a rotisserie. Now you can spot the fuzzy spots that need to be poked more and you can continue to shape. So as you're turning, you're focusing, you're poking on the areas that need to be shaped and are slightly fuzzy. You can also stop and brush your fingers over the surface and feel if there's anything that needs to be felted a little bit more. We'll continue on this for a few more minutes until it's the density and the size that you want it to be. All right, so that ball looks nice, a nice sphere. So we're gonna slide that off of our needle. We're gonna put it into our hands. Whoop, don't let it roll away. And we're gonna roll that blowing on it. Our moisture in our breath helps the fibers to smooth. And now we're going to take and find the perfect acorn cap. I like the term, find the perfect home for our wool ball. So we'll try out a couple and see. That one's a little too big. That one's a little too small. 
that one looks just perfect. So, make that adhere with a little bit of glue. I usually take and put a bit of glue into the acorn cap. My favorite glue is Beacon 3-in-1. You can get it at any craft store. And voila! You have a wool acorn. You'll want to make a whole collection of these. They're quite adorable. And no squirrel will ever want to eat these. They'll be your little treat. Happy